Okay, we just arrived in Charleston and signed in to, checked in to the Bennett Hotel and it's absolutely beautiful, but this is our room. with them first night in Charleston um, we just had drinks in our hotel bar with a bunch of people which I did not film because I'm getting used to this guys and it's weird to film when you're hanging out with people sometimes so anyway I will try to get some footage hanging out with my author friends later but right now we're going to dinner um, with my friends Candy and Fiona and their husbands and I think Candy's assistants so should be really fun. I'm really excited. I love them so much. I've been looking forward to this for, for forever, it feels like. So it's our second morning in Charleston and it's Friday morning, which means that my husband is leaving me and I'm so sad about it. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm struggling so much. I'm gonna have so much fun for the next 10 days of my trip, but I just love him and it's so sad. We've been having such a good time, but he gets to go home to the dog, which I'm very jealous about. Maybe that's also the problem that I'm jealous, but I'm also really excited um, for the signing and then to go to Atlanta and Santa Barbara. We're just getting one last breakfast together and then he goes to the hotel and I get to work. So beautiful. Hi, I'm Valentine. Welcome to the channel. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. I love Jean. I'm a natural star. Yeah. I was born to be here. Okay, guys, I took a million, and I'm also filming. <laughs> Hi, camera. Hi, Gina. Yes. Hello. 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 <laughs> yeah. Ooh, get in Ooh. there, baby. <laughs> Okay, so I just got home. It's Friday night. It's 11 p.m. Friday was a full day. I tried to take some footage, but also I wanted to enjoy myself because, you know, I don't get to see my friends very often. And also this vlogging thing is new for me. So I got a little bit snippets of my day, but I'll just give you the rundown quickly before I take off my face and get ready for bed. So my husband left this morning, and then after that, I just hung out with some author friends that are staying at the Hotel Bennett with me. Um, basically, my publicist and agent was like, we're staying here, let's go. And so a group of us are staying here, which is really nice. It's not the Venue Hotel. I believe it's my first time not staying at the Venue Hotel, and I actually quite like it just because you don't get to spend that much time with your author friends because when you go to a signing, you know, the priority is the reader. But it's so lovely to see your friends that you speak to online all the time in person. So. I love spending time with them and I'm a more I'm an in-person kind of human so um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Clifton Strengths Finder test if you have been around me before you've definitely heard me talk about it I love the Clifton Strengths Finder test and a lot of different authors have taken it there's a creative business coaching course um, with Becca Syme, I highly recommend if you want to be a writer that's super helpful and they and you do this test anyway my number two characteristic is individualization, which means like I love one-on-one -on -one time. I really love intimate gatherings. I really love 
kind of delving deep with my friends. So I don't get to do that very often and I like to do it in person. So this was really great. I got to spend some time with my other friends and my publicist and my bestie Valentine. And then I went for lunch with my assistant and her husband and my other assistant, um, Jess and her friend Tori, who's also my friend and just lovely. Tori is from A Novel Life and Jess is Peace Love Books um, on YouTube and Instagram and everything and they're awesome. I actually just watched Jess's, um, I feel like it was a rant, maybe it wasn't a rant, but it was basically like hot take on books. Highly recommend, I'll put it in the, um, I'll link it for you guys because you have to watch it. But anyway, um, I had lunch with them, it was so great, delicious lunch, and then I came back, hung out with my friends a little bit more, and then got ready for my VPR cocktail hour, which was like, Valentine PR is the PR company that I use, and they had a cocktail hour for their authors. It was super fun. I got to see people that I hadn't seen in a long time, catch up, meet some new people. This is the thing about this industry. There's always so many new faces, which I love. Um, and again, like the vibe check of person to person, eye contact, you know, it's just, it's a nice way to meet people instead of sliding into DMs or being online all the time. So prefer to meet people this way. And it was great, really good fun. And then I went to dinner with my friend Fiona, Fiona Cole and QB Tyler, Brittany, um, and Tanya, and then my assistant and her husband and Fiona's husband. It was awesome. I had crab cakes and collard greens. We can't get collard greens in Canada, and I love collard greens, so I eat them all the time when I'm in the South because I'm like, I need to get them while I can, um, and they were delicious. So I can't remember where we went. Charleston Oyster House, I think it was, and it was really good. <sighs> Tomorrow is the signing. I am gonna get there for seven o'clock. My friend Claire is gonna drive me. We're both gonna get there for seven to set up. Claire is another author. Yeah, I will take you with me. I'm probably gonna be quiet because I'm not the biggest early morning person. Um, but it's only 11, so I'll get some decent sleep if I don't stay up too late reading. I feel like you guys understand where I'm coming from. Um, and we have a full day of signing, so I'll try to film as much as I can tomorrow because I do really want to show you guys the behind the scenes of the signing. Um, happily, while I was doing all my social stuff tonight, my assistant and her husband and my wonderful reader, Eugenia, who let us ship the books to her here, they helped start setting up all the books. So I think they got my pre-orders all organized. Tomorrow I'm gonna sign as many books as I can just to help with line organization and make sure that the weights are a little bit shorter so that when someone comes to the table, I can just personalize it while I'm chatting um, or we can just have a quick chat and take a photo because yeah, line management's a thing and it can get pretty busy. We have quite a few pre-orders and I had time, the venue, you could go to the venue early tonight to, to pre-sign if you had quite a few pre-orders, but because I already had a previous engagement, I couldn't do that. So I'm going at 7 a.m., even though the signing doesn't start until like 10.45. I don't know what I'm gonna do about coffee. I'm gonna need a lot of coffee, and I'm gonna need some serious breakfast because you usually, there's no um, lunch break, so you usually just have to snack. They're gonna give us some snacks. I I think they might even bring us pizza, but I'm allergic to dairy, so that's not gonna work for me. So you usually don't eat or drink very much, and then by the time the signing's over, you're just starving, and you're so tired, and your voice hurts. And your voice usually, like, you know, as an, as an author, you're, you're usually maybe introverted, or you don't spend a lot of time gabbing with people. So usually by the end, your voice is gone. I remember my first book, Bonanza, my voice was actually physically gone when I went home. And my husband picked me, my then boyfriend, I think, picked me up. From the airport and and before he even picked me up I was like do you mind if we don't talk <laughs> because I'm just exhausted so I think everyone feels that way a lot of people don't even make plans for the night after the signing except for like taking a bubble bath which I'm gonna do because this bubble bath is amazing I will show you guys but I am gonna go just for dinner with my friend Brittany she's one of my best friends um, she came to my wedding it's just very chill. And then maybe a couple of other authors <laughs> because it's nice to decompress with some friends. And again, you don't have that many time, that much time to hang out with them. So I will take you along for that as well. I'll try to get lots of footage and I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Ready to go, 6.45. I always wear my sneaks because they're comfy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ooh, there's even gonna be a little lounge area. We found the dollies. Good morning, Annette. Good morning, we got all the books. Ready to go. Woo! <laughs> Ta da! <gasps> Pretty. 
Reese McKenna Nova Boo. Oh my gosh, they even smell. Oh my god, I think the Axeman one looks amazing. Look at the back. Oh my god, stop it. I'm obsessed with these. How good did they turn out? Okay, let's open one up. Um, yes, please. <gasps> the koi fish. Uh, okay, these are incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. No, they're too good. Like, what are we even supposed to do with that level of beauty? I mean, they're too much. Okay, so now I just have to sign all of these. <laughs> all of these. We'll do a little tour of our table. Annette made me this beautiful darling vault which has some goodies inside okay lessons in corruption welcome to the dark side good gone bad <laughs> after the fall it's kind of hard with the lighting inked and lies <laughs> Dead man walking and caution to the wind, baby. Woo! <laughs> and then, so we've got all of these here because Annette is like, they're all here. Oh my God, you color coded them? Yes, I did. <gasps> See, okay. this is why Annette is my favorite person <laughs> on the planet because she color codes by the colors of the book. Oh, I cannot. I gotta make sure we can find everything. Fast. I know, you're <laughs> an organizational baby. genius. We've got Serpentine Valentine, King of Iron Hearts, Sloth, Beautiful Nightmare, Antiheroes in Love. We've got the box sets, Kazuma and Alexander, girl covers, boy covers, oh, and discreet covers. And then these ones, oh, I have to sign all of these, but these are the ones that we have, we, Annette, <laughs> has organized already. So we have like, the pre-orders in here organized with the little names you can see Annette and Daniel made me this backdrop because as you can see there's no backdrop behind any of the tables so this is nice for pictures and for pretties and then these are more special editions and this is my neon sign so we're gonna get ready to go here hello Hi. special delivery <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. It's so, so pretty. One of my favorite editions, honestly, of all time. There's something about the whole vibe. I don't know. Is it like vintage or something? It, that's what it feels it like. It feels like, like the vintage. designer, yeah. I love her design. They're, they're perfect. I was like, I need to do something with the bathtub scene. I, I love need to. the bathtub yeah. scene. And it's so beautiful. I even love the way that you put the moon on it. I'm obsessed. Wait, I want to see. Oh my gosh. The paper quality is really nice. Yeah. I'm obsessed with your formatting. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. They're going out. They went out yesterday. So, so readers will get them next week. Them. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. They're going to We do out. have a few here, but not a lot. Oh my god, you did such a good job. I'm Thank so you. obsessed. I'm so excited. Thank you for making it so beautiful. You know, I I'm, wanted to do them justice. They deserve it. And you it. totally did. Like, yeah. that is perfect. snacks in here but snacks. I also put and I'm so glad I did put um oh my, my lips were so chapped yesterday I'm like I'm so glad I went ahead and put those this is actually like this is a necessity bag <laughs> this isn't even a goodie bag this is like an SOS bag <laughs> oh my god thank you we are gonna take a breakfast break <laughs> Daniel Annette's husband brought us breakfast sandwiches thank goodness I have in fact done a signing before without eating breakfast and I do not recommend it <laughs> 
for an author, for a reader, for an assistant, for anyone. It is always eat, always eat always protein eat. and bring snacks, snacks, um, because it's a long, long day. So I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, 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 we're ready to go, baby. Let's go. The vibes are high. Vibes are high. And then oh. it's a movie. Oh, it's a movie. <laughs> it's a video because I'm vlogging it. Yay! Game. Is, yeah. is it a, yeah, video? a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're in all of them now. Please do. She hangs out. Yes, she hangs out in this area. So gorgeous. I, know. So I was like, I'm just going to wear leggings. Baby! <laughs> 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 you see me going into a... Can I watch you just live your life and looking gorgeous as... Yeah, girl. It's not cheating if they all went to Lancaster Prep. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Just approaching the sexiest table at the signing. Va va boom, baby. <laughs> Awesome. Oh. I can't wait. Which books you got? 
Uh, I got Welcome to the Dark Side, which I know is age gap. Nice. And I got Lessons in Corruption, which I know is reverse age gap. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. What's your favorite Gianna Darling book? Inked and Lives. Gotta love Casanova. Gotta, Gotta love him. What's your favorite Gianna Darling book? Um, probably Welcome to the Dark Side right now. I still need to finish the Fallen Men series, but... Nice. Do you have a favorite character? Probably Zeus. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure, but I can pre-sign these after signing.